we're here, we're going to talk about compression today. Not so much the use of it, that's going to be another section. Not so much alternate uses of it, that will also be an another section. Today we're going to talk about how a compressor actually works. When you think of sound, you have what is essentially a graph. We're going to call this actual, we're going to call this input amplitude. We're going to call this output amplitude. In traditional sound, if you don't have a compressor on the sound, you are going to wind up with a straight line. As the input amplitude goes up, so will the output amplitude evenly go up. What a compressor does is it's going to take a threshold unit. It's going to read at a certain point, we're going to call it here, at halfway. And it's going to say, at this point, the threshold, which is usually a knob, is going to be affected. As you move it this way, the threshold will come down. As you move it this way, it will go up, traditionally. The next, the next unit that you wind up talking about is ratio. In a compressor, it is always something against one. If it's not against one, it is thus an expander, also a unit. In our case, we're going to talk about two against one and infinity against one. So you have two against one. What that's going to do is it's going to take at your threshold, anything past your threshold, it's going to make it half as loud to the threshold. So at half, it's going to do that. So as the input amplitude comes up, it's instead of being this loud at the end, it's only going to be that loud at the end, past the threshold. These are the two main components to a compressor. You also have attack and release. What they are going to do is they're going to say, after so much time, that's when you're actually going to attenuate the sound, reducing it. Release says you're going to continue attenuating it even after it goes down past the threshold until a certain, until the release time comes up. You can have roughly zero milliseconds to 100 milliseconds, and zero milliseconds to almost a thousand milliseconds on release. So. As it comes up, it will come up here and then bring itself back down, come back down, and it will actually reduce even past here, almost as if it lowers the threshold a little bit more. The final part of a compressor is called the makeup gain. And how the makeup gain works is it's going to take the finalized result, which is this dynamic range. And it's going to bring it up as such, so the actual result does this instead. Thus, when it's at its highest output, it will still come out at the highest output, but just make the quiet sections louder. And that is how a compressor works.